Breaking, Megyn Kelly just got the worst news of her career, this could be the end. It's always nice to see liberal talking heads in the media get their comeuppance. And it's especially gratifying when a turncoat gets a taste off some hard medicine. Sunday night saw the premiere of Megyn Kelly's new program on NBC. To get a big start, Kelly launched her show by interviewing Russian President Vladimir Putin. But Megyn is now having to face some bad news, the ratings for her debut were abysmal, falling even behind a 60 Minutes rerun on CBS. Both 60 Minutes and Megan's show aired at 7 p.m. Sunday. The CBS rerun got 6.6 .6 million viewers while Megan Kelly's debut got only 6.1 million, via the rap. Ouch. Losing to a rerun? Sad. Not only did Megan lose big league when it comes to ratings, which puts her in trouble with her bosses at NBC, her interview performance with Putin was universally panned. Everyone from conservatives to liberals agrees she got creamed. Throughout her conversation with the Russian president, Meghan focused obsessively on the Russian collusion conspiracy theory being peddled by the left. Her statements and questions betray her submission to her new globalist media masters, she continually referred to the Russian conspiracy as being the consensus among Americans. Consensus? What planet is Megan living on? The Russia collusion myth is only a consensus among the alt-left crazies on Salon and Vox. Even most regular Democrat voters realize there's no basis to the fake media hysteria. In any case, Megan's weakness as a journalist was on full display as she got completely schooled by Putin. When she brought up the supposed IP footprints that prove Russia hacked our election, Putin had the perfect response. What fingerprints or hoof prints or horn prints, what are you talking about? IP addresses? They can be invented, you know? There are a lot of specialists who can even make it so it comes from your home IP address, as if your three-year-old daughter carried out the attack, via Business Insider. Boom! Putin really ripped Kelly's ridiculous questions to pieces. The rest of the interview wasn't much better for Meghan, as she got outmaneuvered time and time again. Putin was smooth and collected. The former Fox host was clearly over her head. She thought this would be her moment to shine. Instead, the entire political spectrum is panning her. Right now, the executives over at NBC are wringing their hands over their decision to throw millions of dollars at this lightweight. Meghan clearly doesn't have the ability to handle tough issues with world leaders. She'd be better suited to covering celebrity gossip on TMZ. At least there she wouldn't have as much risk of embarrassing herself. Meghan Kelly is a perfect example of what happens when you abandon your base. She was immensely successful at Fox. For a time, it seemed like she had the world at her feet. But she let it all go to her head. She forgot about her loyal conservative viewers. Now no one likes her not conservatives and not liberals. Without a base, she's going to lose her job. We need to give President Trump our thanks for exposing this liberal and conservative clothing. Meghan's feud with Trump showed her true nature. Time and time again, our POTUS helps us discover who the true patriots are.